and we are still alive we thank the holy god for his mercy always amen now um, i have a message for you a message that the lord laid on my heart this morning to share with you the message which i have entitled what is truth what is truth you see um it's very important that we know what truth is if we don't know what truth is some other person will come our way and tell us something that um, we might think that that is truth if you don't know what truth is you can be deceived by anyone or anything amen that is the reason why it is important that every believer especially must know what truth is so many people have a body of knowledge out there and they call it as truth amen it is some knowledge that they have gained from some places and from uh, many places and from many people that they don't know that those knowledge are actually harmful to them but they've taken those knowledge as truth and because they've taken them as truth they are shaping their life according to that knowledge they received amen which is very dangerous amen and which is very um, um a, recipe, a good recipe for disaster amen it is very important that we know what truth is so that we can take this truth and apply it to our life amen now also while i'm saying this i also need to understand let you understand that not all facts are truth amen many many people consider fact as truth amen which is a very great error that to consider fact as truth for example we have the force of gravity in science we have gravity the number of gravity which is 9.8 meters per second squared amen I, I did physics in the university so i have a science background amen now when you take this number 9.8 meters per second square it has the gravity on earth amen but i want to tell you something there's something that you need to know that this number 9.8 is not a constant number there are many parts of this world that when you stand that gravity that number changes it can be higher or it can be lower when you take the um the northern parts the north pole and the south pole of the earth when one is standing at the north pole or the south pole the force of gravity in those areas is different from the 9.8 amen so you see we cannot use 9.8 as truth for gravity it is a fact oh yeah it is a body of knowledge and it's a fact but it is not truth amen now many people also consider science science as truth which is a very great error science is full of theories and facts but it's not truth amen why is science not truth because science is subject to um change there are so many theories that was uh, was uh, was um what do you call it um uh research and scientists who did a lot of research and they brought us so many theories and so many facts a certain body of knowledge 100 years back now as i'm speaking to you if you go and take that body of knowledge those facts and you would want to apply them now it will not work why because um, they as time goes on and as they did more research they found out that some of this uh, uh, knowledge that they gained previously is actually not accurate so they have to go back and do more research to make sure that they get the accurate knowledge amen and even with that if yes comes in in the future you realize that whatever they are discovering now will also be subject to change in the future so that makes it not truth because truth is eternal truth does not change truth is not affected by time truth is not affected by a man's opinion you hallelujah now I want you to know what truth is because if you don't know what truth is, you will just accept any knowledge that comes your way and you take it as truth and it will be a very dangerous thing in your life. Amen. So the question is what is truth? Now the word of God gives us what truth is. So let us enter into the word of God and find out what truth is. Amen. Now John chapter 17 verse 17. John chapter 17 verse 17. It's one scripture I like so much, and I like the fact that it was spoken by the Lord Jesus Himself. Amen. Now, in John chapter 17, verse 70, it says, Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. Amen. So the word of God is truth. It is the word of God that is truth. Hallelujah. Now, this Bible is the word of God. Yes, we say that um when they were interpreting that when they were interpreting translate sorry translating the bible um they made one or two mistakes with the translation now have no problem with that amen but the original content of the word of god the original and the truest meaning of the word of god is still there it has not changed whether the translation is wrong or it is correct does not affect the original meaning of the word of god amen we need to understand this very well now you also need to understand that all the people who did the translation they were men and they get 
tired it was it's a very good book and you know in those days there was nothing like printer press or computer or anything they were doing it with hands okay so yes of course there may be one or two errors in the translation but it does not change the original meaning of the word of god the word of god is still the word of god amen now also want you to understand that when you say truth okay truth also goes beyond the universe amen because the bible makes us understand in john chapter 1 verse 1 it says in the beginning was the word so mean in the beginning was the truth amen if the truth is outside creation that means that the truth is superior than time truth is superior than any other thing because truth is outside of creation why because before there was creation before there was time you see time was created by god when god created the sun and the moon that is when time came into existence amen so before the sun and the moon came into existence there was nothing like time amen and god existed in that time in that realm where there was no time amen so when god created the moon and the stars and all of you he gives us the uh, he gave us the uh, what we call as time now amen now the bible says in the beginning was the word which means that the word of god the truth of god truth actually was in existence before even time came that is why i said that truth is not subject to time are you with me time cannot change truth amen time cannot change the word of god it has always been this as the word of god whatever has been written here it is the inspired utterance of god's word and right from thousands of years it has been the same word it is the same word we preach as men of god every man of god who has been called by god preach from the word of god it may be from the old testament it may be there from the new testament it's still the word of god many of men of god have preached the same book for thousands of years and yet the same book is still powerful today when it is preached that is truth amen that is truth many people have preached the same word thousands of years we are also here preaching the same word from the same book and yet people are changing people are being transformed people are being delivered people are seeing blessing why because it is truth amen so you need to understand that it is god's word that is truth now in the book of john chapter 14 verse 6 john jesus said i am the way the truth and the life so jesus himself is the truth and we know that jesus is the manifestation of god's word so jesus himself is the word of god and jesus himself is the truth amen there are so many religions in this world that they claim to have the truth but I tell you one thing that they don't have the truth because truth is jesus any religion that is not believe that does not believe in jesus as their lord and personal if they don't believe jesus as god it is that religion is not founded on truth amen because truth is jesus and any religion that is not found in its root in jesus it's not in truth amen now you also need to understand that jesus is above all things the word of god is above all things in the book of matthew chapter 5 jesus said and he said everything will pass away the heaven and earth will pass away but my word will not pass away why would the word not pass away because the word is truth the word has not changed the word is not affected by time amen the word is eternal truth is eternal if something changes how can we consider a body of knowledge or how can we consider a statement that changes over time as truth no we can, if someone makes a statement today and that statement changes over time that means that it is not truth because if it is truth it wouldn't have changed why would it change why would it change so it means that truth when uh, today it can be true today but tomorrow it can be a lie no that is not how it works truth can, is truth tomorrow truth will be truth the day after truth was truth yesterday and truth is truth now amen and that truth is jesus christ the word of god amen beloved this is the message the lord made on my heart to bring to you to let you know this is just an appetizer to bring you to the right direction to for you to know what truth is amen truth is god word any other word which is aside from god's word which is not founded or rooted or coming from god it's not true amen this is the message the lord said i should bring it to you and i know that this message has blessed you and i know that this message will open your understanding to a lot of things take time to meditate on what truth is and the holy spirit will open you and give you more revelations on you in jesus name my name is reverend kisley this is men of eternity i would like you to follow our page on facebook men of eternity i would like you to subscribe to our youtube channel men of eternity and i also like you to subscribe to our spotify podcast men of eternity our pod being men of eternity and so i also like you to share this message across all platforms and to your friends so that they'll be blessed by this wonderful message the lord bless you and the lord keep you until we meet again i say peace unto you 
This is Reverend Kingsley, and the name of this program is Men of Eternity. Peace unto you until we meet again.